Hey guys, for nostalgia's sake, today I thought I would revisit my old glasses. I have them all laid out here on the table in front of me and I have some notes in my notebook about when I picked them up from the optometrist. I have one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of regular glasses, one reading, and two sunglasses. What do you think? Aren't these amazing? <laughs> I wish I could tell you that these were mine and that I had worn them at some point. Sadly, they're not, like they were never technically my sunglasses other than the fact that I now possess them. These were my mother's. I think the brand name is Carrera. Yes, Carrera. And I totally think that I could pull these off. I think they're pretty amazing. I just had to give an honorable mention to these when I was, let's see, how old would I have been? 22? 22 and a half? I decided, okay, my eyes are bad enough. They are causing me headaches. Something is going on. I need to go get them checked out. And that's when I found out that I had astigmatism, and the best way to correct it was with glasses. To this day, I'm still not a good candidate for contact lenses, according to my optometrist, and I trust him. First pair of glasses. I got these on May 19th, 2008. That was when my first picture popped up in Facebook of having these. So these are Ray-Bans. I went with the slim frame. That's kind of what was in style at the time in 2008, as far as I remember, although I'm not really one to care too much about style. And I still, I don't hate them. I just think that I've outgrown them I guess I don't know what do you think let me know we'll call this pair number one so let me show you some pictures of me with these um, this first one is the very first picture that I ever posted of myself in these the day that I picked them up and also notice in the picture over here I had a Monroe piercing so notice the crappy quality of this picture too and here's another one. This was um, in bed. I think I actually took this picture because I had my wisdom teeth removed and I was showing how puffy my face still was. Now this one, damn, I was skinny and I got pretty hot there for a while. Am I wearing these glasses or are they different ones? Yeah, it's these glasses. Sorry, I'm, I have my, my MacBook down here looking at these pictures. And uh, yeah, it's, it's these glasses that I'm wearing. Here's a picture of me at the bar. This is actually one of my favorite pictures of me despite that horrible red eye in it. I loved my hair that night that we went out. And I think this is the final one that I have. I was in a Michaels store and they had these cute hats of different animals. So of course I grabbed the pig. I am piggy pie and had to you know try that on and try to give a cute pose wearing that <laughs> the first picture that I could find in my next pair was from September 7th of 2010 so these lasted me to like two years and four months okay so that was pair one so you gotta let me know what you think about those should I revisit that style on my face all right now these next ones this is a Candies brand and they're colored. It really complimented my brown hair at the time and my brown eyes, is, that's what I was told. So what do you think, do they? I still like them. I definitely don't miss these, but it is a very pretty subtle rose color and I have a lot of cute photos with them. See here, I had curled my hair Oh yeah, later on I actually dyed my hair. I, I bleached it. And uh, I mean, this color still looked good with the bleached hair. Here, this is um, right after a fresh haircut. I was showing off the back of it in my bathroom mirror. And I was wearing these glasses. And I still think that they look okay with the, with the blonde hair. My next pair I got in early 2012. So I did have these for about a year and a half. So let me know what you think about these ones. This is pair number two. Um, is this still a good style for me? What do you think about the color and the style, like the shape of them? 
These have got to be one of my favorite pairs that I've ever owned. They are secretly green. Now I'll hold them up and I don't know if the camera is gonna catch it. You can, cut, you can kind of see it over here. Jara, what are you barking at? So I got these in early 2012. I don't know like even the month or the exact date or anything like that. But I had these for a long time. These actually went through a prescription change. I have had two in them. And I can still see fairly well out of them. Uh, far away, it's still a little bit blurry. If I had to, like if mine broke, I could go back to these, I guess. I don't want to. <laughs> Mike really likes them on me. He actually says, he's like, yeah, go back to those. I'm like, because you don't like seeing my face or what? Because that's what I feel like these do. They're, they're super thick and I feel like they hide my face. Let me know what you think about these ones. These are pair number three. And let me show you some pictures. I chopped off all my hair uh, when I had these. So I had some cute highlights in my hair too. Um, so I look quite a bit different in this old picture here. And then I worked at a furniture store. Um, my hair was growing out. Here's a selfie I took in one of the dressers at the furniture store. And then I got a job uh, at a jewelry store. Well, I was technically an assistant manager or key holder or whatever I was called. I had to look a little bit more professional, but I still maintained that colorful look that I loved. I can't stand just wearing black and gray to look professional like I was in that previous picture. I hated that furniture store so much. And here I am making a silly face with them on. These are cute. These frames are Nine West brand. I don't want to go back to them ever. They are very heavy. The weight of these resting on my nose. I don't miss that at all. So style number three right here. Let me know what you think. Now the next ones were my first shot at trying transition lenses, which did come in handy when I ran my first Tough Mudder. And now I'm realizing I can't wear these anymore at all because there is a scratch going across the lens, like right in front of my eye. I do like these though. Um, they're like the half frame and they're brown. I mean, you can't really go wrong with like a, a neutral color like that. Let me see what brand these are. Actually, Oh, these are candies. I actually had these in conjunction with the last pair, with pair three. So I would switch back and forth depending on which ones I wanted to wear. These also helped me learn that I hate transitions. I got these in 2013. So we'll call these pair number four. Uh, let me know what you think about these. Let me show you some pictures um, that I had with these on. This was a crazy hairstyle that I had um, when my hair was super short. My cute mohawk, I love that. We were out at the Blue Water Bridge in Port Huron and you can see that they had started to change color. I think that's the only two pictures I have of these ones, yeah. I, I didn't really wear these a lot. These are pair four, let me know what you think about them. So this next pair, I have in my notes here that I got these, I believe in early 2015. I think honestly of all the glasses I've ever had, these were my absolute favorites because they're frameless and you can actually still see my face in them. They don't create a shadow on my face because they don't have anything to create a shadow. So I could actually see my makeup when I did makeup. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm hiding my eyes. We're gonna call these pair number five. I do have a lot of pictures with these. These are the ones that I was wearing when Mike and I first started dating, I believe. Yes. <laughs> okay, so so here's a picture I took on the airplane on my way to his sister's wedding in Punta Cana. And that's actually where Mike and I um, first got together, I'll say. <laughs> and then it continued at home. He actually took this picture of me. This is the dress that I wore to her wedding. I'm sorry, now I know better than to wear white. Even, it was kind of like a creamy white, but and it had pink stripes on it. I'm sorry I wore that to your wedding. 
Um, but here I was uh, holding one of his other sister's bouquet as she was a bridesmaid. And um, that is Mike's bow tie around my neck. <laughs> and he took this picture. This was at the Detroit Burger Bar. We, we love that place. They have really good burgers and I love their tater tots. And Mike took this picture too. I just thought it was cute. Frame in Canada. Actually, you know what? I got these at a special optometrist place. I don't know what the brand name is on these. All it says in the earpiece still is Frame Canada. I don't know, I'm sorry. But I think they're cute. I like the side piece or the, the earpiece. This is style number five. Let me know what you think about these and if I should go back to frameless lenses in the future. I think I should. My next pair, I actually don't have any pictures of because they are only reading glasses, but I hardly ever wore them. I would technically wear them probably about mid-bridge. I, I bought these so that I could wear them at work, and honestly, I wish they had those blue light filters on glasses when I got these because I do think I would have worn them a lot more if they had that. And I got these at some point, probably in like 2016. Um, they're cute, they have like little rhinestones on the side. Like I said, I don't have any pictures of these um, because they are just reading glasses. Style number six, um, they're just reading glasses, but uh, let me know what you think about them. Are they cute? Do you think I should try to wear them? Pair number seven, I will call my current glasses, which are these. Um, now these are uh, Marciano brand by Guess. Let me know what you think about my current frames. We'll call these pair number seven. I really like them, but because the lenses are so big, they pick up the glare of every light around me. Like, if I'm looking straight at the camera, I'm picking up the light that I have set up over here. It's a ring light, you can see that. <laughs> oh, you know what, I forgot to turn this one back on when I came back in here. It makes a little bit of a difference. <laughs> Is it picking up that one? No, it's not. It, it just picks up everything. You can see other glares in there too for my kitchen lights. They're cute though, I really like them. I do know a lady who has the same frame, but in purple, and they're really pretty um, purple, but they have these cutouts and I really like that. I think it's pretty cool. I've never seen those in glasses before. And they're pretty classy. Let me show you some pictures I've taken in them. Um, this was us at a cider mill eating donuts. Here I am squinting. I should have had my sunglasses on. Here I'm looking pretty professional. I done my makeup. Even my eyebrows are nicely filled in. And again, with the makeup on, this is in our bedroom. I love this picture. Here's a cute one Mike took of me. His mom runs a miniature store on Etsy. Um, she has miniatures and craft buttons. One of the things that we shipped that day was this cute little picture frame for a dollhouse. So he thought it would be cute to take a picture uh, with that framing me. And I like it. I do think it's cute. Moving on to sunglasses. Now the ones that I had purchased originally with my very first pair of glasses actually lasted me up until about a year and a half ago when I got that last pair. Oh, uh, yeah, it was like a year and a half ago. I got my, the, my current pair of glasses in August of 2017 and at the same time I got my new pair of sunglasses that I will show you next after these ones. But my first pair are Ray-Bans. They're classic, right? I totally love these. So when I first purchased these, I was super excited about being able to get some prescription sunglasses because I would finally be able to afford buying some Ray-Bans. Well, I didn't realize that because I was getting prescription lenses in them, they wouldn't have that signature logo up in the corner that says Ray-Ban. I was super bummed when I picked them up. <laughs> So I had to tell people, oh yeah, the Ray-Bans, yeah, yeah, the Ray-Bans. No, really, the Ray-Bans. <laughs> I'm such a dork. 
<laughs> so I have some cute pictures with these um, because I had these up until 2017 so actually nine years over nine years I wore these um, they went through two prescription changes so I had a total of three lenses in them I have a lot of pictures with these but I'm only gonna go through I think I have four pulled up um, this first one, I was told that I looked like the colorful Unabomber in it because I have this hood up on this colorful sweater that I used to have. I kind of missed that sweater actually. It was really cute and warm. This is when, damn, I was so skinny. <laughs> I was sitting in this giant chair at a sporting goods store, um, just chilling back in that. Here we are at the Rifle River. Um, this is up north in Michigan. Most of the people in our group were canoeing, but we were on one of those like big inflatable four to six person rafts. Here we are at a Tigers game. These have been through a lot. These are like my do or die sunglasses. With sunglasses I really want like a big a big lens that's going to protect my eyes. I've always had polarized lenses in them also. Um, so I can see the fishies. <laughs> only reason why but they they protects your eyes better and uh, it does help you see fishies I do miss wearing these even though I love my new sunglasses I should bring these out occasionally because these are just classy and I love the way they look with my red lipstick don't you so sunglasses pair one uh, let me know what you think about these I only have two pairs of sunglasses so sunglasses one and two these are one these are my current sunglasses that I got in August 2017. So I've had them for a year and a half now. I got them at the same time as my pair number seven, my current pair of glasses. What do you think? I like them. I think they're kind of sassy and they're, they're really big and they look like, um, like Hollywood glasses. <laughs> I really like the gray color on them too. I just think they're pretty cool. Um, so of course these have polarized lenses as well and uh, no Ray-Ban logo. But they aren't Ray-Bans. Uh, let me see what brand they are. I can't remember. Oh, these are also Guess. So I just have the one picture in these. This is actually like when I first got them. Uh, we went camping shortly after I picked them up. I really like these sunglasses a lot. Funny, I put these on after the other ones and while I do love those aviators and they are so classic, I really like these ones a lot better. I think just because they do make me look kind of sassy. <laughs> Which totally is me. Yeah, I'm sassy. We know that. So I want to thank you for coming along this journey with me, looking back at my old glasses. Please let me know which pair is your favorite, um, or give me your favorite one or two pairs in the comments. I had fun doing this and pulling out my glasses and looking up old pictures to see when I wore these or roughly when I picked them up from the optometrist's office. I think I've had some pretty decent taste when picking out uh, glasses in the past. So let me know what you think if you agree. Thank you. Make sure to like this video if you like it or if you don't, please, whatever. <laughs> like it, subscribe, and um, I will see you guys next time.